Swallowing is also called deglutination. So there are three phases. The first one is conscious. You consciously control to um, initiate swallowing. This is done by the tongue, um, pharynx. Later on, we're gonna involve the larynx and esophagus in swallowing. So step one is our buccal phase. Buccal refers to mouth. This is voluntary, um, mostly contraction of the tongue. A swallow right now, do it. You can feel your tongue kind of push back and it's pushing. Um, I don't see that. Tongue, that food, that bolus back um, against the hard palate and then forcing that food into the oral, oral pharynx. So we're going from the oral cavity to the oral pharynx. This is step one, Google phase. It's consciously controlled. You control when you're gonna when you're gonna swallow. The up, upper esophageal sphincter is closed. There's no reason to have it open. And we're, we, we might be breathing a little bit, um, so we can, we can breathe through the trachea. When the food hits the oropharynx, there are receptors there that detect it. Um, so receptors in the oropharynx are gonna tell the medulla um, to come back, to tell the soft palate and uvula to um, close off the nasal cavity. And this is a reflex initiated by the food being here in the oropharynx. This um, phase is called the pharyngeal phase. I bet you can guess why. We're in the pharynx. Presence of the food in the pharynx triggers the medulla to feed back and cause that soft palate and uvula to flip up. Um, actually, primarily vagus nerve modulated. So the nasopharynx is closed off. Um, the larynx muscles also close off the, the trachea. So this is the epiglottis. So we're going to say larynx muscles cause epiglottis to cover trachea. We don't want food going that way. The muscles of the pharynx contract as a muscular tube. The um, muscles of pharynx are also going to push that food back. Push food um, through this esophageal sphincter into esophagus. So this pharyngeal phase ends as we pass through the Actually, I'll draw it here because I don't have room there. And it's about right here. Open sphincter. I'm going to erase that little blip there. Okay, last phase. So we're in the esophagus. And basically, um, you're not going back now. This part's all involuntary. So these two here, this was, um, I was going to write up here for now involuntary. Once you start swallowing, it hopefully goes down the right tube, but you can't really stop it. Uh, you don't really want to stop it or have it come back, right? Three is the esophageal phase. Food enters the esophagus. Um, this initiates peristalsis. Peristalsis propels the food is a bolus at this time point to the stomach. It's going to, so this is closed now. Again, our upper upper sphincter. This food is gonna to continue to go down 
to the lower esophageal sphincter, which is then going to open. Well, I'll show you this on the next slide. These are sh short reflexes, it calls the relaxation of these sphincters. So it doesn't require central nervous system control. It's fast um, and it's just regulated by that local distension mechanoreceptors of the food passing through. I do have one quick video to show you of this, and then we will look at what happens in the stomach. So, because this video is of this, this top portion, let me orient you. These might look familiar. These are your vocal cords. This is the epiglottis here. So that's the trachea. We don't want food to go that way. The esophagus is on this side over here. So this person is gonna swallow and we're gonna see, it's gonna be really fast. This is flapping over as the food comes down. Three different times here. So the flapping is about to happen as that applesauce it's pretty cool. This, this is a great view right here of that's in down in the trachea. Food is going this way down there. Now that we're in the esophagus, right? Peristalsis has occurred to get us down that propulsion via um, alternate waves of contraction and relaxation of the smooth and some skeletal muscles down the esophagus. Foods moved along that tract. The sphincter that is, as, as this goes down, this is peristalsis, um, the sphincter is going to open. So here, the circular muscles contract that triggers a short reflex that is gonna cause the lower esophageal sphincter to open. This allows food to enter the stomach. Food enters the stomach, sphincter closes, preventing regurgitation. It turns out that sphincter is actually a little bit weak. The diaphragm helps to hold down that food as well. Pretty cool. In the stomach, we're gonna have mechanical breakdown and churning that we'll get to next. <laughs> 